on what to do so I had to go on my knees and pray to God now hear me I want you to understand something here that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but we wrestle against principalities against powers against demons but one thing that I know that if we can lift up our voice in worship if we can lift up our voice unto the king of kings if we can lift up our voice unto the maker of the heavens of and the earth the lord will step into our time oh praise god if we can lift up our voice unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above that which we can understand he will be at work in our lives tonight i pray with you and i pray for you let God arise, 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 let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. as we sing, Lord, your word be to be praised, Lord, your word. Bishop, all the way from the United States of America, Bishop, Bishop Pasley, I salute you. One thing that I know is uh, David, you know, in all times, he lifted his heart and he gave glory, he gave praise unto God. So hear me, in times of adversity, in times of pain, in times of sorrow, there are some of the things that prayers cannot do. Most of the things require your praise and your worship. So I tell people that, hear me, if you want to touch the hem of his garment, if you want to touch the heart of God, if you want to bring down his presence, one of the most important element is your praise and your worship. One of the most important things is how you are able to articulate yourself when you go before the presence of the Lord. One of the most important things is how you are able to tell him that, you know what, bless the Lord, oh my soul. But I can say he, he has done great things. Hallelujah. He has done great things. He has done great things. I will bless. able to lift up the Lord in worship he lift up himself in your pretty covenant may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you may the face of the Lord shine upon you in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah you are the rose of Sharon the fairest of the most you are everything my heart desires. You are fair, much fair, like the leaf that grows by the way. 
opportunity you don't want to miss it you can't afford to miss the prophetic and the message that the Lord 
is bringing tomorrow 9.30 p.m. South African time. 9.30 p.m. South African time. Wherever you are in any part of the world, just check and see if you can be part of us. Tomorrow, I'm going to deliver a message that the Lord has given unto me. That is then not a cause. Is there not a reason? Hear me. David had eight brothers and uh, once upon a time, the Bible said three of them, the first one, Eliab, and the, 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 two, the second and the third born, they went to the battlefield. Uh, the fourth born, the fifth born, the sixth born, they were all in the house, the sixth and the seventh. But when the father wanted somebody to deliver food to the brothers on the battlefield, uh, the Bible said he called unto David. Now hear me. David was the youngest. David was the smallest. But why didn't the father Jesse send the fourth born, the fifth, the sixth, or the seventh born? But he decided to send the youngest. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. There is a reason why God has set you up in that situation. There is a reason why God has put you in that predicament. There is a reason why God has placed you there. Hear me. It has meant how long you have been there hear me God was upon David God was with David so when it was upon when, when it was time for his exposure to come the father bypassed the, the third born the fourth born the fifth the sixth the seventh and he said David come here go to the battlefield and give food to your brother ladies and gentlemen is that not a cause Tomorrow is going to be a prophetic time. You don't want to wait. You don't want to miss it. You are coming out from every obscurity. You are coming out from every hiding place. You are coming out from every delay. You are coming out from anything that has kept you. Tomorrow is a day of discovery. You are going to discover your new dimension tomorrow. You're going to discover your new territory tomorrow you're gonna discover your new oil tomorrow oil to function up the anointing to break forth the anointing to do exploit is gonna come upon your life tomorrow as we unfold the message is there not a cause ladies and gentlemen I don't want to go ahead of myself but all I want to say is that there is a reason there is a reason and there is a cause so join me tomorrow 9 30 p.m if you are in ghana or west africa it's gonna be 7 30 p.m join me as i bring you a message from god we don't care the darkness that we face the lord is our light and our salvation there is no night fear there is no darkness that can overcome us you are blessed us Ash, ashla you are blessed you are highly favored uh, man of god noel enin you are favored Whoever that is watching me, may God be with you. May God bless with you. I pray for you. And I pray with you. I, 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 I pray with you all the way in George. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. The face of God will shine upon you. And the Lord will be gracious unto you. Josie, my point, God bless you. Oh, Nualenin, God bless you. Man of God, God bless you. Whoever that is watching me tonight, I was supposed to be ministering. Karina, God bless you. Reverend Sally, Mama, I, Mama Sally, I miss you so much. Hey, I miss you so much. I remember when I used to drive your, your SUV all the way in Ghana. <laughs> ah, you borrowed me your car for a purpose. Ah, God bless you, Mama Sally. In the, you, you were my mate in Pentecost University when we were pursuing our degree. God bless you. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, Catherine J. God bless you. May the Lord arise on your behalf. May God arise on your behalf. Yen him say, and it's here. Yesu di kaneba. Yamija batamba. Yamawa mo. Obatampa. Yamija. Yamawa mo. Yen am Christ. Dini Makose, the Abadi and the Bar, Kobe Shaku, the Badu Zaliata, Ibradu Zahakunde Lebishatayanaba. I'm inviting you all tomorrow, half past nine, 9 30 p.m. 
It is a prophetic and a prayer time. It is a time of deeper revelations. Arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of God is risen upon thee. God bless you, Mama Sally. God bless you. I'm coming home soon. Mama Sally, I'm coming home soon. Ah, I'm coming home soon. And I'm going to see you soon, Mama Sally. I miss you all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus, your works are great, my Lord.